Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, hello. Uh, I am Amy Lajoie, and I am a um, actress, writer, uh, director, editor, all the things <laughs> uh, based in San Diego, California, uh, most known for doing my film crew parodies I've been doing for um, almost a year and a half now. Uh, those have been pretty popular amongst the film industry. Um, I have a bunch of other comedic characters that I do as well outside of that group. Um, Pre-pandemic, I had a web series called The Bumble Bums. Um, yeah, so I just kind of, I make lots of things. Content, <laughs> <laughs> comedy. Yeah, do it all. Where did your interest for filmmaking come from? And like, who was your inspiration? I've always been interested in movies. Um, my grandma worked at a movie theater in El Dorado, Arkansas, uh, back in the 1940s. And she was always um, kind of like an escapism thing, like growing up in the Depression. Um, she loved the movie. She loved all the old Hollywood glamour. And um, she loved like Clark Gable was always like her favorite actor. And uh, it was kind of like, yeah, again, a, a real escapism thing for her. And so when I was born, that kind of carried on from uh, my grandma to my mom, and then from my mom to me of being raised on um, old Hollywood movies. So that's, that's what first got me interested. It's just kind of a lifelong interest in movies. And then as far as actually wanting to make movies and act um yeah I don't know, it's kind of hard to pick a particular person there's so many people that inspire me uh, indiana jones that was a big thing <laughs> of like i guess as an actor of like i could be indiana jones <laughs> a comedy uh jim carrey's a big influence um love them all love them all every every single person can influence me in in one way or another and either things i want to do or things i don't want to do <laughs> Because you've worked in so many, um, like with your film crew uh, series, like what is your favorite department and or job in the film industry? I'm always an actor uh, first and foremost, but uh, I have done quite a few other roles on film sets. I randomly did do costumes one time. I don't, I don't know how I even got involved on a short film for doing costumes. It's like, you know, I'm not making costumes like I can't even sew a button on <laughs> like but I'm good at picking things out uh that was interesting um I've been an assistant director a few times which has been uh I actually kind of enjoyed that on sets when everything flowed well otherwise it's a nightmare <laughs> uh to do that job um yeah and I also I like editing too editing's great um sometimes if I'm working on a project like even like back in school if I wasn't directing something I would kind of insist on editing because just like okay at least I could have some control over how it's going to turn out um yeah so ed editing is really fun too what do you want to try in the film industry that you have not tried yet Ooh, I like doing makeup I'm in no way trained to be a professional hair and makeup artist but I do always enjoy it I like doing it for myself and and like trying new things but I'm just really amazed by uh, what people can do from um, just like normal glamour makeup to uh, all the way to like special effects and uh, I'm just constantly floored by some of the things that they can create. So in the future, you'll be the the most <laughs> hired makeup specialist in Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> makeup bars are always so awesome. They're usually some of my favorite people on set, but they, they tend to bond with the actors too, because I mean, they literally touch your face. So <laughs> that really forms a connection that <laughs> can't be replicated with other crew members. <laughs> And um, where do you get the idea to make fun of the film industry and post it on the internet? Well, the first video I did, um, I just saw it was a TikTok trend that people were doing with this one particular type of video. And I just thought like, well, what could I do that's my own twist on this? And I thought, oh, I haven't seen anyone do this with a film crew, uh, which is something I'm familiar with. And I kind of instantly thought of like, okay, where are some types you could see on a film set? And as it turns out, uh, there weren't that many people that were ever, like ever that have made videos making fun of people on film sets just kind of like the general below the line crew so I kind of accidentally stumbled upon uh kind of an untapped part of the internet <laughs> and people were so excited to be represented for the first time 
um, by someone who does comedy. Uh, yeah, so it was weird. It was just like, oh, okay, cool. I'll just, I'll, I'll keep making these and people still want to see more. Would you say there are more women starting to work behind the camera than before? I think so. I think there have been some big pushes um, in the industry to hire more women. I was part of something last year that the um, Women in Film um, LA did. And it was just, it was called Hire Her Back. It's like, you know, once people get back to uh, working regularly on film sets from uh, COVID, like maybe consider hiring a woman over a man, especially, I mean, of course you should always pick someone who's the most qualified. I don't think people should pick someone just because they're a woman, if there is a man who's like better at that job, but there are so many um, wonderful qualified women in really all departments. Yeah, no, no matter what it is. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's getting a little better. I think it's getting more uh, common um, and there's been more like media about it too, of just like highlighting like these are all the female filmmakers and people are really, uh, every time there's a award show, they point out like, oh, there were you know, there were three women nominated this year in this category, or there were only one, or there's only one, we could do better, like, how can we do better next year? So I do think there's a big push, which is really, really awesome. And uh, also, like, what do you think about there's a film festival dedicated to women in the film industry? I think that's awesome. <laughs> and I think there needs to be more of that. Yeah, and I, I hope your film festival also highlights, again, like, women in all, all departments, not just the above the line um workers like we need we need the, the female grips and <laughs> female transportation and the female sound technician and editors and yeah highlight everyone yeah mm -hmm. I, I think that's really really awesome so um that was our last question is anything you want to add or uh i don't know is there is there anything in particular you guys want me to or yeah get get more uh get more uh, people to come to uh to iceland to do film Alrighty. So thank you, thank so, you so much fun. for coming. It was so fun to have you here. And yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, this is fun. And uh, yeah, talk to you girls later. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs> thank you for coming. Bye.